from Phoenix Shaving, Bay Gum. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch savers everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. We've got a brand new shave soap in the Shave Den, courtesy of Doug and Fran from Phoenix Shaving. It launches on the 17th, <laughs> February 17th, at the Arizona Meetup. Absolutely. This is one that uh, we reviewed last Christmas. Uh, in the advent calendar, this was day six. <laughs> An absolutely fantastic, fantastic mashup kind of scent. This is Bay Gum. Let me show it to you right here. Bay Gum. My gosh. Check that out. Yeah, this was, uh, this was shaving soap, uh, yet to come. Here was the uh, sample that, uh, that came in the, uh, in the advent calendar right there and we use this we got an absolutely fantastic shape this was definitely a favorite from that advent calendar yeah and of course they sent along uh, a little bit of information here uh, as well uh, i'll let you get a screenshot of that there we'll put it up on screen and we'll read along what they have to say about uh, bay gum uh, as I write here, first off, can you believe Juicy Fruit is 130 years old? I kid you not, it was first released in 1893. Talk about staying power, right? I personally love to claim credit for this mashup, but all credit goes to Dave Johnson of Fragrance Brothers fame. Dave is known for his nose and knowledge of fine fragrances, so this might seem a little odd for him to have a hand in, but trust me, <laughs> uh, but trust me, it's all him. I believe the story goes he was wearing Atomic Age Bay Rum while chewing Juicy Fruit, and it just clicked. A classic Reese's type moment for sure. After the huge popularity of this scent during our holiday advent calendar release, we figure we'd save it for something special in the coming year. Well, what could be more special than another Arizona wet shavers meetup? Yeah, bay rum, fun yet oddly masculine and epic. <laughs> And here's the fun fact. Uh, the first item to be scanned using a UPC code was a package of Juicy Fruit Gum. Yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. We've already done uh, my uh, Cube 2.0 pre-shave uh, cleaning, a nice hot towel, uh, and we're making the lather right now. Now again, hang on, let me set that aside there so it's out of the way. Again, we've reviewed this with the Advent Calendar. It's absolutely wonderful. So we're gonna review it again, share it with you again, let you know it's gonna be available. Uh, on the uh, on the seventeenth, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> trying to get, I'm trying to keep everything square here. Computer, what day is this Saturday? Seventeenth of February. Seventeenth is on Saturday. Yep. Okay, seventeenth. <laughs> it's the seventeenth. February 17th, 2024 at the Arizona Wet Shave Meetup. Okay, my apologies for that. Look, I'm going to wet my face, and we're going to do a little pre-shave lather. All right, that's. I want to put that on fresh. I've got two days worth of beard growth, and uh, I've been using the uh, Dreamscape Scuttle and the Atomic Rocket uh, Shaving Brush from Phoenix Shaving. Well, both are from Phoenix Shaving. 
Well, let me show you what I've got here. I didn't want to jump the gun, but you know, I've, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's just sitting here. It's been waiting for me. I know it's been waiting for me right here. Look at that. Boom! Lather! <laughs> yeah, absolutely fantastic. It just lathered up so quickly. My gosh, it was fantastic. And again, we've got two days worth of beard growth here in the scent. It's fantastic. Atomic Age, uh, Bay Rum, and Juicy Fruit. Yeah. And believe me, this is a winning combination. This is marvelous. It really is. And if you like Atomic Age Bay Rum like I do, and I love that one, this a little twist of juicy fruit, ah, this really <laughs> this really adds it adds to it. It really does. I like this a lot. Oh man, look at the look at that lather. Look at that. Oh wow. Oh, what a great, what a great lather. Look at that. Oh, that's marvelous. Two days worth of beard growth. I am, I am so looking forward to this shave. Wow. That's it. Look how much I have there. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to set that down. Let me rinse off my hands here. Let me get my uh, shave so cut. I just move it out of the way there. We are going to be using my, um, Phoenix Shading Copper Ascension. Uh, double overcome twist adjustable razor. Yeah, a nice, nice warm lather. Uh, we're gonna have a nice warm razor. Absolutely. Let me just set that there like that. We've got it opened up, and we're gonna be using a Phoenix shaving uh, platinum strangelet razor blade right there. So let's open this guy up and uh, double wrapped. I like that. Yeah, and let's get that installed. And the uh, CK6. Lather uh, is uh, doing its thing with all those great skin food ingredients. It's uh, softening the whisker and adding some nice uh, moisturizing uh, effect to the skin and that sort of thing. So there's the blade right there. I think I got that upside down. My apologies. Here, let's turn around uh, so you can see it. There you go. All right. And then we'll just put that in there like that. Get that in there like that. Here's the base plate with the uh, O-ring. I'm using a black O-ring here. Let me see if you can see that. All right, uh, just drop that in there like that. There's the O-ring. Here's my handle right here. This copper is going to heat up nicely under the hot, hot, hot water. I'll have a nice warm razor. I heat it up on the hottest temperature under the tap, and then I just give it a quick swirl in the sink just to bring it down a little bit so it's not burning hot, okay? And uh, there we are. Everything is nicely Nicely aligned. Oh man, this looks great. Uh, alignment balance spot on. End tabs are enclosed in the uh, ends of the razor head here. And there are these notches here that allow you to get a nice firm hold of the razor head while you're twisting it so your hands won't slip off of the razor or off of the razor head. So yeah, that's very, very important. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to go not quite a quarter of a turn, okay? Not quite a quarter of a turn, but approaching a quarter of a turn. So we're opening up the blade gap a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, I think a quarter of a turn for me sometimes, sometimes might be a little too much. And look how wonderful and stable the lather has remained on the face. Just, ah, <laughs> this is, scent is marvelous. This is a great scent. All right, heating this up under some hot, hot, hot water. Ooh, that's good hot. Nice warm razor, because the copper it retains the heat. It's like a heated razor. It's fantastic. All right, there we go. All right, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that's nice. Boy, that's nice. That is probably the perfect blade gap for me for the first pass. Not too much, not too little. Oh, that's fantastic. Let me just remove some of this water out of the sink here. And I'm going to go ahead and heat this up under some hot water again, just to get a little more heat on it. Yeah, a little swirl in the sink.
Oh, that's a nice warm razor. Boy, that is, <laughs> that's marvelous. Boy, that's terrific. Nice residual slickness. Yeah, I just want to get those little bit of hairs there. Oh, that's that did a great job. Nice residual slick that's allowed me to do that. Probably could have gotten on the second pass as well, but I want to, want to kind of knock those down while it's fresh in my mind. All right, uh, first pass done. Let's rinse. Okay, I did some nice rinsing there. Boy, we are really approaching socially acceptable shave territory. <laughs> really nice. I think I could run out the door. No problem. Plenty of lather in the bowl. A really nice, nice first pass. This scent is marvelous. <laughs> I really enjoy Bay Rum and Barbershop scents. And uh, I love the variations that uh, Douglas is doing with the Bay Rum line of shave soaps uh, at Phoenix Shaving. Uh, I mean, it's just some really, really nice original mashups and twists, that sort of thing. And this is a good one. My gosh. Wow, really. And when he said a Reese's moment, absolutely. Oh, man. And again, look at that wonderful lather. That's wonderful. That water just added to it a little bit. Just fantastic. Oh, you know, I just love, I love the process. And I, you know, thanks for tuning in. I, I really do appreciate it. You know, I forgot to say, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. And I just love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I tend to lather <laughs> a little too much during these videos, but I just like visiting with you and just having a nice chat. So uh, I've snugged this up to its mildest setting now, and we're going to open it up not uh, maybe, maybe an eighth of a turn, something like that. Yeah, I think that's where it is, probably an eighth of a turn. I'm going to heat this up under some hot, hot water again. Get, a, get some more heated razor action going. Love this quality about the Copper Ascension. You can just heat, you can just run it under some hot water and get a nice heated razor. It's fantastic. And with a warm lather, man, nothing better. All right, here we go. I'm going to go uh, past number two. We're going to go east to west, across, <clears throat> east to west, across the grain. Little frog in my throat there. Boy, that's so smooth. That, <laughs> that is so smooth. My gosh. I love the, the, the fact the end tabs are enclosed in the razor head so it doesn't get in the way when you're shading around under your nose or around your earlobes. That's really a nice feature. Nice, really nice.
really close on the chin. That's terrific. This razor has this razor head has some nice maneuverability on the east to west pass underneath the nose. And again, because it's twist adjustable, you can make it a little milder if you have to, or you can open it up. And make it a little, um, a little more aggressive, a little more efficient. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I almost had an accident there. I was talking as I came down. Uh, this, uh, the comb hit my lip there, but the, I had enough slickness there where it just kind of passed over. Man, am I glad <laughs> I'm using CK6. That's, that could have been, uh, disastrous. My gosh. You know, uh, one of the hazards of talking and shaving, I guess, but I love doing it. And thanks so much for tuning in. All right. We're going to go with, uh, our, uh, well, we're going to go with another rinse. Our pass number two is done. So let's rinse. Boy, I tell you what, this shave is done. I am going to do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a third pass. I'm having such a good time with this shave. I could probably do a little touch up here. You know, it's kind of a roll of the dice. I think I'm in BBS territory already. Although, don't try to find the BBS at the BBS Find You. But I'm going to do a third pass because I'm enjoying the shave so much. And I am just loving this scent. Uh, I Again, I love the Bay Rum scents that uh, Doug and Fran are doing over there at Phoenix Shaving. Really, really fantastic. Wow. I'm just going to put on a light coat here. If You know, <laughs> that's a lot of lather here. A light coat. Yeah, let's see if that's possible. I'm going to get a really nice, creamy, yogurty, uh, a good, cushiony coat with a lot of nice density and body. So, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess, what I'm, I guess what I'm saying, it's not really possible to put on a light coat because it's just, there's so much uh, creaminess and body and density and the yogurty goodness to it. We're going to go ahead and snug that up to its mildest setting for the third pass. Again, a little more hot water on the razor, getting that nice heated razor effect, sensation. All right, here we go. We're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's really terrific. That's nice and mild on that when you, when you snug that up all the way. But I'm still getting some nice blade feel and some nice efficiency. I'm just doing it very lightly here. I'm kind of not much on the chin, and the, you know the upper lip is done. I just want to make sure I got the the jawline. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to make sure with two days worth of growth, I want to make sure I don't get any of those little extraneous long hairs kind of left on the upper lip there. And I think I got everything. Oh, nice. That's great. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's a nice shave. Wow, that's a really, really nice shave. All right, I'm going to do my final rinses. I'm going to get a nice warm towel. Thanks again to Jamie Horn. Uh, the top towel cabinet has been wonderful. Uh, I'm going to do, use a nice warm towel for my warm rinse and then a nice warm splash and then a cold splash. And I'll be back to see you on the other side for the Allen Block.
Oh, that's marvelous. Where's my clean, fresh towel? <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute, I got one underneath. Hang on. Ah. <laughs> All right, we'll use one of the thinner ones this time around. Let's shut that off. Okay, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. These work too, although I like the uh, the thicker ones. Those are nice. Of course, the thicker ones are great in the hot towel cabinet. So, I forgot to put a, a thicker one up there. Could have used the timeless razor uh, towel, uh, but I like to uh, kind of keep that up there. Uh, well, I could have used it. I could like to keep it up there just in case. Well, just in case I don't have any of these below. <laughs> so that's, that's my other backup. Boy, this was a great shave. What a great shave. My gosh. That's marvelous. Man, oh man. Terrific. Man, that's BBS. No doubt about it. Let's get the Allen block. Feeling shaving solid Allen block. I don't have the uh, no slip grip on there. I want to want it to breathe a little bit. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get here. Any zinging, any stinging, that sort of thing. Boy, that's smooth. That's nice and smooth. Uh, you know, no, I was going to say, boy, that's terrific. Some nice bracing and toning, but no zinging, no stinging, just a really nice, close, wonderful shave. Man, that's great. That's great. That's marvelous. Here's the dry dock. We're going to drop that Allen block in there and let the air in the room do the rest of the job. Let me show you the, uh, let me show you the lather here. That I have left over. Here, let me show you the whole dreamscape scuttle. And you know, this guy right here. I'll just, I splash some water in there. That's why I'm working it out on my rinses. Just want to show you how, but I want to show you how it comes back. Look! <laughs> Look at that! Absolutely fantastic. Even though I, you know, accidentally splashed some water in there. Look at those peaks. I mean, you're just working in a little bit and it comes right back. I mean, you know, that's fantastic. Other exchange soaps, you know, you may, you might drown them with a little too much water. Not CKCs. You can just work that back into a beautiful lather and it's ready to go. I mean, look how much I have here. That little bit of water that splashed in there. Is just, I mean, I've got enough, I got enough for another two passes. And what, like, how many swirls did I do? Maybe eight swirls, nine swirls? Boy, the stuff is just magic. It really is. And this scent, oh, the scent is great. Atomic Age Bay Rum and Juicy Fruit. Wow, that's absolutely, fa absolutely fantastic. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, use some of the aftershave splash. Uh, new bottle, okay? Brand new bottle. You can see I haven't opened it up yet. And uh, we're going to take this uh, seal off here. Okay, there it is right there. It's, there it is right there. I got the seal off. Here we go. Bay gum. Oh, that's, that's marvelous. That is marvelous. That is fantastic. Oh, man. Love these bottles. Love the contents in the bottles. Oh, it's just absolutely fantastic. All right, so here we go. Okay, now, Jimmy V method. Let, let that alcohol evaporate off the hands a little bit. Just wait, a, just wait a few seconds, and then you'll get nothing but the good stuff. All right, slap on. That works. But if you want, al if you want alcohol for... Uh, you know, there are advantages to have, you know, slapping in a little more alcohol, obviously, up to your shape. So if you want that, just slap it on right away. And it will evaporate off your face, I would imagine. And, uh, boy, that's a great scent. And you'll still get the great scent. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of Atomic Age Bay Rum for upstairs. I do need a head shave, but um, it really does. Oh, does a great job. 
It's absorbed very, very nicely. Oh, man. Great, great shape. Wow. Man, bait gum. Bait gum. This was absolutely phenomenal. This is a phenomenal scent. I like this one a lot. I liked it a lot when we uh, were introduced to it this past Christmas uh, during the 12 shades of Christmas with the Phoenix Shaving Advent Calendar. Came in this size container here. And here it is here. Uh, the great thing about the Advent Calendar is if you have this container here, you can buy some of this. And uh, if you get low on this in the travel container, you can just scoop some out, put it back in here. You know what it is and travel with it. Same with the uh, the after aftershave splash. So uh, really a terrific, terrific, terrific bay rum scent. Bay gum. Atomic Age Bay Rum and Juicy Fruit. Really, really terrific. I got a BBS shave, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Copper Ascension was great. Uh, the Atomic Rocket was great. The Dreamscape Scuttle. And this just made heaps and heaps of lather. And the scent is fantastic. It really is a nice take on Bay Rum. Bay Rum, Atomic Age Bay Rum and Juicy Fruit. Wow, who knew? Fantastic. My thanks to Doug, Fran, Huxley, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for very kindly sending this one to the channel and allowing me to share with all the viewers. Folks, it launches on the 17th at the Arizona Wet Shavers Meetup. If you're there, grab some of this. If you're not there, get online, put your order in because this is a good one. And uh, as they say, uh, when this was uh, uh, released in the advent calendar, a lot of interest on this one, absolutely, and I, and I can understand why. It's a really, really fantastic set. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page, Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything and it's snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Let me get that aftershave. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Put the cap on. <laughs> like that. Okay, as I was saying, thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.